Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Android 18 from Dragon Ball Super. This is the tracksuit version. And I know a lot of you guys are really big fans of Android 18, not because she's a female and you're a bunch of weirdos, but because it's a pretty cool character. Is the figure any good though? That's gonna be the question. It should be really good. It's a super basic design. They should be able to just knock this out of the park. They've been making human shaped figures since the beginning of time. Whether it's Kamen Rider, Dragon Ball, Power Rangers, anything like that, or Super Sentai, I should say, uh, this should be a walk in the park for them. But is it? That's the question. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this figure stands just shy of 13 and a half centimeters to the very top of the hair, which makes it pretty close to, let's say five and a quarter inches. That's fine, scaling wise it's good. If you wanna see her up against her brother, you can wait till the end for the photos. I don't have him within reach right now. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and do a question of the day and then we will move along to the rest of the review. How do you guys feel about the super designs for the androids? Uh, to me, I get the idea that they're just normal people now, so they're wearing normal people type clothes rather than the weird clothes that they stole before, which are technically normal people clothes, but like nobody would have ever, ever actually worn them. Uh, for me, the uniqueness of the old designs was more fun. The tracksuit is just like, eh, I get what they were going for, but it doesn't do a thing for me. I don't care to own this one. It's not gonna look good on a shelf other than it's a character from a team in a show that I like, so obviously I have to get it, that sort of thing. Okay, let's talk about the aesthetics. First thing I notice is this figure looks like a whole lot of plastic and very little paint, which is disappointing for me. Uh, it's also very disappointing for me that all of this mauve plastic, or it's kind of too dark for Fuchsia, I think mauve is right. There's a bunch of different colors. The top part of the shirt doesn't match this part of the shirt. The thighs don't match the hips. Down here doesn't match the knees. Like the arms are a different color. It's all over the place. It's not terrible, but if you have good color perception, you will see that these are not all the same color. And since it has to be for this, like it looks pretty weird. Uh, there's nothing else to look at really, so that's a problem. As far as shading, I don't see any. It's possible there's some down here at the bottom of the pants, cause that looks like a little bit of a different color to me, but I can't tell if it's just, on camera it's very obvious it seems. But so maybe they shaded like the very bottom of the pants, but you can see right here the different colors. It's like one color here, one color here, one color here, one color here, and then different color here. It's very unappealing. The white stripe isn't anywhere near as white as I think it could be. It's, it's a little bit too transparent. Mine is scratched over here from posing it, so that's a bummer, we'll talk about that. The zipper paint job is just paint. There's no sculpted zipper there. So that's not good. We're missing sculpted details and it's sculpted or painted crooked on the torso here. So that's not good. Uh, the face skin tone is really weird. It's super pale, doesn't have the right, uh, I guess, shade to it. It should definitely have a little bit more pink to it. Also, her eyebrows are basically missing. And once we get to the alternate heads, you'll see one of mine is actually missing eyebrows. But if you look at this picture here, that's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, this is a different head, obviously, but we're missing a lot of everything. It just doesn't look right. These fi these Android figures look like bootlegs to me. 17 was disappointing, this one is too. Like, it doesn't actually look like a bootleg, but it's damn close. For being a premium Bandai figure, I'm very disappointed. Also, like, it seems like I'm getting nitty, nitpicky here, but it's because these are super expensive, and so far they haven't given me anything to enjoy about the figure. There's one thing I'll tell you about in a second that I do like, but even where they split the hair to bring the hair forward, like on this part, it's hidden. On this side, it's hidden. It's like right where the hair would be. On this side, it's just, it's not. Like they didn't make it come in a little bit, like come in this way and then curve back down at all. It's just a straight line. So even that, like it's just very lazy, like churn it out, get it done. And the face is also very plasticky. It's very shiny, she looks very greasy, oily, doesn't look good. The one best thing about this figure is the shoes look pretty nice. They're very clean, very nicely painted. That's it. I guess the eyes are well done, but since the eyebrows aren't, it's a joke. So aesthetically speaking, this figure is awful. Five out of 10. Like it should be lower, I guess, but the paintwork that is there is relatively clean. So I'll give it some credit, but it doesn't look good overall. As far as accessories go, we have the normal hair and then we have the windswept hair. So that's okay. But even on that head, they didn't do anything to hide the seam. So that's pretty disappointing. We do have the neutral face, which you already saw on, on the figure. 
and then we have another semi-neutral face with a smile, but mine has no eyebrows. Does anybody else have eyebrows on that head? Because mine went Super Saiyan 3, and it looks ridiculous. Uh, we have another head where the mouth is showing, and the eyebrows are still really poorly done. They're very hard to see, and they're way too low, so that's bad. And then we have the yelling head, and again, the eyebrows are a little bit better, but still terrible. So, and the one eye is definitely far too off on the side. Like, her left eye is way, it's like it's trying to touch the ear. That's pretty weird. Not good. For the hands, we have the two fist hands that come on her in the package, and then a whole slew of other hands for various poses and for holding her energy effect, which we do get. Just like Android 17, this little yellow ball energy effect with silver paint on it, it looks terrible. The silver paint just doesn't look good. It doesn't look like what they're going for, I don't think. Don't like that. The best accessory, though, is we do have the uh, pocketed hands, which they look really nice. Like, that's a good, well, arms and hands, that's a good accessory. I like that. I'll probably just keep my figure like that and never touch it and pose it again. It's going to sit on a shelf and fade into obscurity. So, uh, accessories, uh, 7 out of 10. The faces are terrible. The energy effect is not good. The hair is okay. The hands are fine. And then the sleeves are okay, too. So, again... It's fine, but fine's not enough for a $90 premium Bandai exclusive SH figure arts Dragon Ball figure. Not enough. Let's talk about the articulation. We have a ball hinge in the neck instead of a double ball peg again, so we're uh, regressing. That's definitely a bummer. The neck is on a ball peg, so that's pretty good. But trying to finagle this thing around with all that hair going around the collar, not convenient, not pleasant to pose. So double ball pegs, please, Bandai, for the necks, especially for figures like this where you have limited range, please. For the shoulders, we have a butterfly joint, which works okay, except it doesn't really do anything and just pops off. So when I say okay, I mean it doesn't really work. It doesn't look bad, so it's not a total loss, but if the best you can, best range you can get out of a butterfly joint is forward, just don't make it. Don't make it. Look. What? Why? Do, I feel like I'm reviewing Marvel Legends now. Like, I'm getting sad. <laughs> why? Why are we seeing things get worse on Bandai figures? We have the ball peg to ball hinge combo for the shoulder, which lets the arm move around a little bit. Then you can do your hinge, but the ball hinge is inside the shoulder cap, which we moved away from. They did that once or twice and it was terrible. They moved away from that, but we're doing it again. So now we have extra kibble going on. It doesn't look as smooth. It doesn't function as well. The whole shoulder should just be the joint. It should just be the joint. This is not acceptable. This is not good. You get your full rotation, but it doesn't, it can't go straight up. So it's not actually your full rotation for no apparent reason because we don't have any shoulder pads or anything blocking it. You do get your bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow is good, looks good, functions well, that's fine. Wrists are on a little tiny ball hinge, that's fine. The sleeve is actually a floating piece, that should be okay. The torso, I believe we have, oh my gosh, why does everything keep falling apart? I'm not like yanking on it very hard. We have a hinged ball peg. But as you can see, we're not gonna get a whole lot of range out of that. So that's a little bit concerning. Let's see how it actually functions. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's why it popped apart. Leaning back. Leaned back, okay. Gets a little bit gappy, but that's tolerable. Going forward, it barely leans forward at all. That is it. A little bit of a crunch. And then side to side, that ball peg is so tiny, you get virtually zero range. You get virtually zero rotation. This bottom part of the jacket is a floating piece. So you get your rotation there. That's all right. You get a little bit more lean there, but not using the hips, if I hold the crotch and butt piece, you get only that much lean forward, which is very minimal for an SH figure arts. Leaning back is really good. This is the trend now. Apparently all the companies have decided leaning back is far more important than forward, which is weird, because um, leaning back doesn't really do that much. I mean, as far as posability goes, very strange. For the hips, going out to the side, it's just about 45 degrees, which is not enough for a Dragon Ball SH figure arts figure. There's no excuse for that. We had really good hips. They were fine, and now they're making these new ones, which don't work as well. And by the way, we can't go backwards at all now because we're sculpting butt cheeks onto the body rather than onto the leg. It should be sculpted back here onto the leg so you can rotate the leg back for martial arts poses, because that's what these characters are, martial artists. Can't do it. Bringing the leg forward works well enough. It's almost horizontal, not quite. So again, no high kicks, like that's it. That's it for a high kick. And no side kicks either, not good ones anyway, because you only get a total of 90 degrees. 
not acceptable. Plus this one on this side, when I did it, when I raised the leg, it scratched the crap out of the paint. So overall, this figure is very disappointing so far. Thigh swivel is a thigh swivel, that's fine. The double jointed knee looks pretty good, I'll give them that. And then for the ankle, we have ball hinges. So you can bring the foot back. Doesn't really go that far forward, that's a bummer. You can rotate it around, but because of the pants, well, no, I guess it still works. Okay, so you get a decent ankle rocker out of it, and you get a toe hinge with a big chunk missing because, because they won't do it. Just make the radius go all the way down, flush to the foot. So one to the bottom of the foot, one curve. No curve plus a dangly bit. We don't want dangly bits. So toe hinge is stiff, but ugly. Yeah, this figure is in no way impressive and in many ways disappointing. It's not acceptable. At this price point from this company, we should expect so much more. If this came from McFarlane or Hasbro, sure, fine, but not Bandai Japan, no. Not acceptable, not from a premium figure, not from any of their figures, honestly. So articulation on this figure gets a five out of 10. Too many problems, don't like it. I could probably go a little higher, but it wouldn't make much of a difference. And the final verdict on this figure is uh, five out of 10. Mismatched colors, not acceptable. Eyebrows missing paint, face being the wrong color, eyes not in place, the hair not being cut in a good place, the joints not working, there being no real paint. There's just no reason to own this, honestly. Like, both of these Android figures are super disappointing. Unless you're collecting every figure or really have a thing for the Androids, I can't say I recommend it. Yeah, five out of 10. Super bummed out about these premium releases. What uh, a waste of money, frankly. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, <laughs> it was negative, but hey, that's my job. It's a review, not an entertainment piece. I can't help it. If you enjoyed it, then you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down, but please don't give it a thumbs down because the figure is bad. That's not my fault. I just, I'm just here to give you the information. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, but if you want to come back, you could. You could subscribe. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands and thousands and thousands already on the channel. So you could. You could come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.